Hi, I am Amit Ratyavar. In this video, we are going to learn about exoplanets. For discovery of which half of the Nobel Prize in Physics for the year 2019 was awarded to Michael Mayer and Didier Callows. They discovered exoplanet in the region where life could exist. So the first question is what are exoplanets? You all know that our sun has eight planets which revolve around it and Earth is one out of those eight planets. What if there are planets which orbit stars other than sun? Those are called exoplanets. Now the question comes, why do we want to find these exoplanets? The answer to this is, finding these objects will help us to learn how life came into existence on Earth. Another thing we can learn is, are we alone in the universe or aliens also exist? Now the question is, even if exoplanets exist, can they sustain life? We know that what is necessary to sustain life, there need to be suitable temperature for the existence of water in liquid phase on the surface. Now consider the region which is very close to the star, which is shown here in red color. Here the temperature is too high, so water can't exist here in liquid phase. Now consider the region which is shown here in blue color. The temperature here is too less for the water to exist in liquid phase. There is a region which is shown here in green color. Here the temperature is suitable enough for water to exist in liquid phase. We know that suitable conditions are required for formation of organic molecules. There need to be energy sources to sustain the metabolism. If all these conditions are met in a region, we call those regions as habitable zones. And if you, and if you can find a planet in habitable zone, then there is a possibility of alien life and if you, if you can find a planet which has alien life then certainly a Nobel Prize is waiting for you. Now comes what are the difficulties in finding exoplanets. First they happen to be very far. You know that the nearest star to sun is Proxima Centauri which is approximately 4.2 light years away from us. That means light emitted from Proxima Centauri will take about 4.2 years to reach to Earth and the other stars are farther away. Second, the host star can shine much brighter than the planets we want to observe, which make the discovery of exoplanets very difficult. There is another difficulty. For ground-based telescopes, the atmosphere around the Earth can blur the image of the star and wash out the signature of the planet. Now the question comes, how do we detect them? There is something called Doppler effect, according to which the observed frequency is different than the emitted frequency if there is a relative motion between the source and the observer. Like you might have noticed how differently a train siren sounds to us when train is approaching us and when train is receding from us. When the train approaches us, the frequency of the siren of the train appears to have increased which is called blue shifting. And when train is leaving us, the frequency appears to have decreased, which is called red shifting. In a similar way, when stars move toward us, their spectrum get blue shifted. And when they recede from us, their spectrum get red shifted. And we know due to the motion of the planet of a star, the star wobbles. For example, Jupiter makes sun wobble with a speed of 10 meter per second. We can use this motion to detect the presence of planet. Another method is tangent method. We know when the moon comes in between earth and the sun, it blocks some of the light coming from the sun to earth. In a similar way, when we are observing a star and its planet come in between telescope and the star, the light received from the star will decrease. There are other methods also which can be used for detection of exoplanet like gravitation microlensing. Best thing about this technique is that we can detect even very small planets with this. Another technique is pulsar timing. Let me tell you, this is the technique with which first exoplanet was discovered. And another technique is direct imaging in infrared. You can read about these techniques if you feel interested. Let me briefly tell you what are the future scopes. Sensitivity of the spectrograph, which gives us the information about the velocity with which star is coming to us or going far from us has enormously increased from 1995 to 2021. The spectrograph loading which was used in this discovery 
had a sensitivity of 7 meter per second and the spectrograph which is in operation right now has a sensitivity of 0.25 meter per second which is approximately 30 times than LOD. Next generation big advanced telescope are being built some of which India is also a part of like 30 meter telescope. This telescope will have 9 times more area that means 81 times more light gathering power than the biggest currently existing optical telescope in the world. So there are a lot of hope, hopes in this direction.